All right, right on. I'm Todd with Your Music Magazine. I'm sitting here with Travis from Divine Heresy Evokes. Say what's up to the camera real quick for me, Travis. What's up to the camera? Right on, right on. So you're doing something that you don't normally do when you're uh, on the road and everything like that. You're roadieing for 36 Crazy Fists. Uh, tell me what's going on with Divine Heresy. What's what's the deal? Uh, yeah, I actually am roadieing because they're my boys, and that's what I love to do. Is hang out with friends and have a good time. Um, Divine Heresy has put out a record that's been out for about a year, a little over a year, July 27th was a year. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to do a lot of touring because of you know other things happening and stuff like that. Uh, we're starting uh, the writing process for the new record at the end of the month, which we'll probably put it out end of the year. End of the year. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically what's going on right now. You know, I mean. Uh, Dino's doing Fear Factor right now, Tim's doing Morbid Angel, and, you know, I'm out here hanging out with my boys, and Joe is uh, sitting at home doing Paint After Death and getting that stuff going on. Everybody's got their own little thing going on, so. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, um, you said these are your boys and everything, so you're just trying to help them out on the road and everything like that. Uh, did you guys meet on tour, that tour that you guys did together recently, uh, or did you know them beforehand? Actually, um, I've never really met them before, and I've just been a big fan of theirs since 2002, since they first came out, and, uh, well, since I kind of hit the scene, and uh, we did a tour with them. It was, it was Fear Factory, 36 Crazy Fists, uh, uh, after the burial, and a uh, band from Canada called Baptized in Blood, amazing tour, it was a lot of fun, and, you know, it was really cool seeing these guys, you know, being out with one of my favorite bands. And, uh... You know, we just kind of hit it off, and uh, and um, be <laughs> became friends. And uh, you know, um, their tech uh, got a better job offer. You know, doing like a regular job thing. And um, you know, well, the merch guy, he's like, he's like, Dude, you know, why don't you just take Travis out? He's like, we all get along. And he told me about it, and I hit them up about it, and just I guess the rest is history. I'm hanging out with my boys, you know, having a good time. Nice, nice. So, so Morbid Angel and Fear Factory, they got that going on. Do you have any other projects going on? Do you uh, anything? Yeah, yeah, I do. I got a band called The Bereaved in Sweden. And uh, it's Sweden, definitely... That's a cool job. Yeah, it's definitely Swedish metal, you know, melodic metal. And uh, we're starting to write our new record, too. So what's that do to drop? Uh, we're, we're writing basically... You know, it's going to be kind of a treat. You know, uh, there's a lot of fans that, that really like the band that are in Sweden and, and all over the world. And they had a record that came out before I was in the band, which was like more thrash. And then they had, you know, like thrashy Swedish metal at the gates kind of style. And then we put out a record that was still like that, but still had the soil work element and stuff like that. So basically we're in debt to our label for one more record. So we're going to put out a total just heavy, punchy thrash. What label Sweden. is that one? It's a label, a small label called Vic Records in, in Amsterdam. Okay. So we're going to put out just a thrashy ass, just Swedish metal masterpiece. And then we're going to write a whole new record like melodic all the stuff and and shop a new deal with that too so people will kind of get like two records within you know uh six month period cool cool so you're uh staying productive either way yeah yeah i've got to write stuff on my own i got some other little projects i'm working at but it's not really confirmed or anything so i can't really say anything about it right now Right on, right on. Well, I appreciate you taking some time out of, out of your night and everything oh, yeah. like that. It's past last call and everything, so I'm going to let you get on your way, drinking some beers with your hey, boys. Yeah, it's not last call where we're going. All right, right. I am going to continue my party right there after I get loaded there in. There you go. That's where the magic happens yeah. right there. It's, Our, it's, the, it's the Alaskan bro shit. <laughs> the bro in. shit. We just had to, you know, Urban Dictionary that to see exactly what it yeah, was. Man, yeah. I fucking uh, came aboard myself. <laughs> you know, fucking... That's, that's it, man. It's like once you're in, it's like kind of like getting jumped in the gang without getting jumped in. You just kind of get drinked in, and, and then you're... <laughs> that could kick your ass, too, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got carried out that night. It was great. Nice. Yeah, take care of yourself, man. Right on. Thanks a lot, Travis. Uh, thanks for supporting heavy music and supporting the underground scene, man. You guys... For sure, man. People like you guys are what's keeping the shit alive, man. Grassroots. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I know it ain't magazine anymore, man. It's all about interviews and, and web scenes. I mean, you don't need to... It's nice to have the little rag, you know, but now... Nowadays, man, you can look up everything online, and people like you guys are, are keeping the news out there, man. Yeah, well, I really be, appreciate it. This will be up in a couple days and everything like that. And yeah, it was good to hit you up, actually, because I've seen you on stage I can't for a get second. Up for and I was like, that what the hand, fuck? Man, this guy's an awesome dude. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all awesome guys. Right on, man.
Well, good shit. Fucking have have a good rest of the tour and everything like that. Don't work too hard. Just begun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, how much longer you got? Exactly. We, I come back. Uh, we'll, we'll be back in Portland on the 25th of October. Nice, nice. And then we go home. Uh, I'll fly back to San Diego for a couple days, and then I'll be up in Anchorage, Alaska, on the 29th for their annual Halloween show in front of about 5,000 people in Alaska, nice. their hometown. All the family and friends and everything. Oh, dude, their hometown, it's like everybody knows who they are. They're like celebrity. They're like Tom Cruise, all of them. Well, yeah, there's probably, most people can't name two cities in Alaska off the top of their head, so I can yeah. imagine, you know, like they're, they're already big everywhere else, you know? Alaska's it. Yeah, good right on, man. All right, well... Todd Graham, your music magazine. Travis of Divine Heresy. We're at the Avalon Man Down Productions. We just watched 36 Crazy Fists and uh, Straight Line Stitch just completely murder the fucking stage. So we're out. Keep it metal.